welcome to this time of prayer on Wednesday in the first in the third week of Easter. My name is Amber T and thank you for joining us here today in our little oratory in London. We will start now with a few moments of silence to recollect ourselves and bring us into God's presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In our Gospel, which is from St John, we hear two important messages from Jesus. He told the crowds and us, I am the bread of life. And anyone who comes to me will never hunger or thirst. Also, we hear Jesus saying that he has been sent by the Father to do his will. And this is the will, that he should lose nothing at all of all that he has, has been given to him, but that it will be raised on the last day. We will now listen to this Gospel from St. John. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never hunger. He who believes in me will never thirst. But as I told you, you can see me and you will not believe. All that the Father has given me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I shall not turn away, because I have come from heaven and do not my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. Now, the will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. Yes, it is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him, shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise him up on the last day. In Jesus, everyone, every single person is loved and called by name and claimed as a child of God. Jesus is the one for whom difference makes no difference. I will never drive anyone who comes to me away. Jesus says, not anyone, not you, not me, no one will be driven away. In Jesus, no one is ever lost or left behind. It is the Father's will that I should not lose any of what has been given to me. I will raise them up without regard of who they are, what they're like, how they are different, or what they've done or left undone. The main and important thing is to believe in Jesus. That's the raising up love of Jesus Christ. The raising up love that fills our lives here on earth today and will continue to fill our life. God, our Father, you love us with endless mercy. You call us to be your sons and daughters. You invite us to take care of the earth, our common home. Lord, grant us a big heart, a heart always willing to love, a compassionate heart, especially to love those who are suffering. Now we turn to our Father and say the prayer which Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us remember, when God creates, God loves, and what God loves, God loves everlastingly. As we go about our day, let us hold on to these words, today and always. May the Lord bless each one of us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.